question. Yes. Um, so this chaotic energy or this overabundance of energy can be equally used for good, for beauty, for love, or it could also be used for something sinister. This is correct. So, so clean the energy. Right. So what I mean is with the current situation, as it occurred, it shows that people can use it for sinister, same energy. Mm -hmm. And I can use it in, in extending my heart song to my beloved tree, which I love and, and adore every day. Um, so as it goes, you mentioned that it is affecting and hampering uh, timelines or warping timelines. And as I understand it, you all are working on those timelines. Can you explain what you are doing to so-called repair these timelines? Hmm. Oh, what a delightfully tricky question. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, we have a twofold response for you. So the first, what are we doing with the timelines? Understand most people see timelines as a string, a straight, narrow line. We see time as much broader, much broader with multiple actions happening at once. There is so much more to each of you than you realize. And because you do not realize, you choose to see only the tiniest germ of what you are. Believe us, you are capable, each of you, of much more than you give yourself credit for. So these timelines that are around are in different frequencies and subtle energies and and. Hmm. When something very powerful happens in one timeline, it may claim all the energy to it. Therefore, other timelines that are possibly more benevolent, for certainly you are in one of the denser timelines, some that are more benevolent are sucked of their energy, like the air being sucked out of a room, and they wilt. Some of them are drawn into your timeline as a conduit point. You have timelines that sort of some stay where they are, but they have droughts or distresses occurring for you have stolen their energy, so to speak. Hmm. So we have been working on sending the energy back out and refreshing the energy. The timelines that have been drawn further into yours, we have been trying to get all of the timelines to go forward quickly through this moment towards a lighter moment. We have much lighter energy ahead. We are trying to direct your timeline too. We are not affecting change upon actions or occurrences, merely the frequency of energy. If you impact the frequency of energy that feeds the experience, the experience will shift. You all are aware of this. Think back to a time when you are very upset, very angry, you're ready to explode, and then someone you trust gives you a hug and allows you to weep upon their chest until you have returned to yourself and you are clear-minded again. Because their energy, the lighter, more loving, nurturing one, 
wrapped around your energy, allowing you to dissolve the distress. We are attempting to accomplish the same activity of bringing in much love and concern and lighter frequency of energy to help with the human karmic lessons to gravitate towards a happier experience. Does this answer your question? Perfectly. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, the second part, hmm. yes, you may absorb the energy, others may absorb the energy, there's much energy kicking around. Keep in mind, energy is not created or dissipated, it merely always changes essence. The amount of energy on your planet is the same amount that you have always had, but it is constantly evolving, shifting, changing, just as the water flowing down the mountain is in a sauna or in the Antarctic. Hmm. It just changes location and shape. It may be quenching the thirst of a dinosaur or a princess millions of years later. It does not matter. It is the same water. The energy around you is the same energy that was here a thousand years ago, 10 million years ago, 2 billion years ago. It merely changes shape. If you do not care for the theme of this energy, then to surround this energy with a loving energy will certainly be of benefit. Take this energy, gobble it up in your mouth, your heart, your solar plexus. Send it with love elsewhere, just as our Divine Mother does to you, and you will claim this energy for betterment. Of course, actions of connection. If someone calls you in distress, our world is falling apart. Let them know that you are choosing to be one of healing and offer your healing to them. Invite them to become a chosen person of healing with you to go out to heal others. You do not need to be trigger affected into hysteria. It is very easy to do, of course, very natural when one is anxious, but it is not a requirement. You have the ability when you feel the trigger to stop and say, here is some energy within me, and I choose this energy to be powerful. I choose this energy to send out healing love. I choose to fill it, feed it to my heart song, and then sing to the universe. This is also your choice. Now, as you go forward with your life actions, the energy of your heart song has a great effect of your actions as they send their energy forward. Remember, the more love you put out to flow out and help others, the greater the heart song, the more loving energy is flowing through you as well. A person filled with loving energy will always magnetically attract a variety of interesting experiences. We do not guarantee you will only attract love, but we do guarantee you will always attract interesting. Some experiences will help you be stronger and some experiences will help you relax with greater love. Each of you may feel that you are stronger 
in a group than individual, but we tell you, no, you are strong. If you crave a group, your soul, your angels, your collectives, your past lives are a group for you. And we tell you, you have a tribe out there that is for you. You need not feel alone ever. Of course, you do feel alone, for that is part of the human state. But when you feel alone, then you may take a moment to introduce yourself to your soul, your guardian angel, your past lives, your angels, your collectives, your teachers, for they are here. You are just used to ignoring them rather than conversing with them. Your soul is aware of your heart song. Your soul created you. Ergo, your soul created the fundamentals of your heart song. You may sing to your soul and ask your soul to sing in a duet with you and then send the energy out while you are consuming the chaos. This is a very powerful experience. Have we any questions from any of our friends? Well then, this is wonderful. And we believe it is time for us to give our farewell. We wish to tell you in these chaotic days, you become even more empowered. Make use of this time and claim yourself for it is your right and your privilege. Blessings to you all. We are grateful for this time that we shared with you. Thank you. I guess they decided that they said enough tonight. <laughs> oh. oh, my word. Well, thank you all for joining us. Are you guys on Zoom? Stay with me and we'll chat again in a, or chat in a moment. But all of you on Facebook, thank you for joining us. And... Um, if you want to learn how to manifest all this stuff, go to my website, bonitawoods.org. We start manifesting tomorrow. <laughs> and I personally am very grateful for this idea of self-empowerment, self-love to support our manifesting something, I don't know, nicer than chaos, something nicer for ourselves and for each other. Have a wonderful night.